Hey, soul family, what's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. I am your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. My name is Isa, and I'm going to be doing the darn thing for Virgo today, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher for the first of um, April to the 15th. I legitimately cannot believe that we are actually in April right now. Um, this is blowing my mind. I also can't believe that we are going through a pandemic. Um, you know, one of those things is not like the other. But um, guys, I hope you guys are staying safe. Please wash your hands. Please wear a mask if you need to go out. Please, please, please. I am... I think I'm sort of recovering from something. I feel like I've been kind of fighting something off for more than a week here. So I have not been doing videos. I've been exhausted. I've had massive migraines, um, you know, sniffly, runny nose, sneezing. I feel like I had a fever twice in the last week. Um, and uh, whatever it is uh that i've been enduring even if it's this virus that i've had maybe a mild case of um you know i feel better today and then i have i haven't been able to really feel all that great but um you know for the most part i have my health i'm grateful uh and guys please 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 keep your immunities up don't be drinking don't be drugging don't be doing all that stuff you know just take care of yourself drink a lot of good tea okay <laughs> turmeric ginger echinacea okay uh, elderberry all of it all right guys all right so that end of rant off my soapbox all right guys so um anything you need to know about me you can find in the description box down below following me facebook instagram all that good stuff and guys you know take what resonates in this reading leave what doesn't if nothing resonates at all check your moon rising and venus signs and if those don't resonate definitely check another reader there are a lot of fantastic readers out here um and i just may not be your person this time around that's perfectly fine we know how it goes all right guys so let's get into it virgo y'all are one of my favorites why because my whole life I grew up thinking my dad was a Virgo. My dad is not a Virgo. My dad is a Libra. I mean, he was like cusping, just a day off the cusp. And I thought my dad all my life was a Virgo. So um, I just always had a thing for Virgo people. I still do. I love you guys. Anyway, we're done. All right. Okay. So Virgo, lesson, lesson, lesson. 33 master number for me as a reader this means that there's some sort of lesson here this is chaos and conflict whether it's what's happening in the world uh you know could actually possibly be teaching you something very much about yourself uh what you're capable of what you're made of um you know it, even having the lesson of you know, going with and spending time with yourself and knowing that this is something maybe you've needed for a long time and maybe even possibly avoid it. OK, within whatever chaos and conflict is coming or happening currently in your life, I think that this is um, a big lesson in a positive way for you guys. OK, so um, we could have this chaos and conflict coming. It could be in a number of areas of your life or it could just be what's going on right now currently in the world. All right, guys. We then have the 10 endings and new beginnings, unfinished symphony. So I feel like this has to do with a relationship for somebody or some sort of, you know, vibe that you might have been having with somebody. And there's unfinished business here. If you look very closely, that's a little is a little uh, chick up there like she's playing the song. But we all know what an unfinished symphony is. You guys get it. So something that didn't quite um, finish itself and it could be that you're having that vibe or somebody else is having that vibe but uh, you know if you look closely there's a little face down in that circle uh, orb thing that she's sitting on and uh, you know she's a female he's a male so I feel like this is some type of relationship where there's unfinished business and this person may pop up here in April 
with that, I think it's going to be truth be told, you know what I'm saying? So either you or this person might express your feelings or how you feel. Maybe you still really have feelings for this person. Maybe it just was never over. You know, maybe you're finally going to be honest with yourself and be like, yeah, I want them. God darn it. Uh, you know, whatever it is, it feels like that the heart opening up, if you can see here with this owl, you know, using that intuitive inner wisdom, knowing it's time, let it out, let it be known, let it shine. I got feelings. Here they are. All right. My cat is eating very loud in the kitchen. <laughs> if you can hear her. And the birds is chirping. I have the uh, door open. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. I feel like everything is really, really amplified. Not just based on the fact that I have a microphone now, but based on the fact that it's just an empty, very empty space when I turn this table around here. So anyway, guys, let's get into it. Spirit, what are the messages you have here for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Ryan, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. Guys, if you can, um, like this video, please, if you like it. And if you really like it, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Also, I always ask that you guys can hang out till the end of the video. Because um, a lot of different messages come through. Our reconciliation card. I love it when I see that card. Um, or apologies. Spare, what are the messages you have here for Virgo April 1st through the 15th? Sun and Rising Venus and the Cross Watcher. What does Virgo need to know for Virgo's highest good, please? What's coming for Virgo? Knight of Cups ain't too shabby so far. Oh boy, oh boy. I'll tell you in a minute. I'll tell you in a minute. Let's go ahead and get an overall energy before we get into this. So, guys, I'm going to look and feel the energy of these cards and talk about that. This can shift, okay? Uh, and you need to know that because I'm not like uh, other readers that might stay on just one topic. I pick up as much as I possibly can because it's general energy we're reading for a lot, a lot of different people here. So once I start to um, go ahead and get into the clarifying cards, something completely different can come out. So just keep that in mind, all right? And some of you are going to be like, nah, don't resonate, bye. All right, hit the like button on the way out. <laughs> all right. All right, Spirit, what is the overall energy of this reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher, please? What is the overall energy of this reading, please? Oh, Knight of Cups. Okay, so I'm feeling like somebody want to bring some love. Or you want to bring some nerve, okay? Knight of Cups. Bam, he's on a fish. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. And that's exactly what we start out the reading with. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. So you could be dealing with somebody that has that in their chart. That could be their sun sign. It could be their moon rising Venus. Okay. Uh, possibly strong water energy. All right, guys. Um, we have here what looks like you going back and forth about a decision here, okay? Um, and I feel like this is like major, major decision because this is head over heart and this is practical. This is back and forth. You might have been going back and forth with this person a lot. Um, but, you know, whatever it is a two is always for me as a reader about making a decision about some sort of partnership okay so it looks to me like somebody might be coming with an apology 
okay? Somebody could be coming with apology, trying to offer their love. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. You're like, but you know you done did, did, did some dirt. I really don't feel like talking to you because you get on my damn nerves. Ugh, how many times? Oh, God, I don't know. You know, um, and really, really going back and forth about that. Like, okay, do I accept this person's apology or not? I feel like they're coming with apology. You're going to try to decide whether you want to accept their apology. Then they might try to be like, but hey, girl, hey. And you're like, mm, ah, I need to really, really super, super think about this because we have swords energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here. Trying to use your intuition here with the moon above her to make a, a, an intuitive decision head over heart and really being in your feelings about it because I think you have a lot of love for this person. I think you really care for them. Looks like there's a change of wheel of fortune. What this could represent is that your person's changing or you're changing, okay? But whatever this is, it feels like fortune turning in your favor. What I always find interesting about this card is that there's this sphinx, right? Um, holding a sword. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, it's almost like cutting out whatever um you know whatever bad vibes negativity uh, bad luck you know and, and moving forward so it could be that this person has made some changes and why do i say that because i read these cards a bunch of different ways and this knight of cups is above that wheel of fortune so i feel like things turning for the better so you probably might be considering right uh, some sort of reconciliation here or you know dating somebody for some for the people that this is unfinished business uh, for the people who it's not unfinished business sorry my cat's going crazy what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> she's coming over here now what are you doing um, for the people where this is I, I know I know okay for the people where this is not unfinished business, uh, there could be, come here, come here, come here. There could be somebody who, um, you know, is coming to express how they feel about you, you know, and this puts you in a state of like not really knowing what to do, not knowing how to feel about this situation, okay, um, and making a decision, maybe whether or not you want to date this person, if that makes sense. Either way, we have the wheel turning. I feel like fortune is favoring you at this time. And I almost feel like there's no more of this kind of um, breadcrumbing back and forth. Um, you know, you dealing with somebody who's also maybe trying to deal with other people because we have the queen of swords next to that six of pentacles that earth energy capricorn virgo taurus okay that capricorn virgo taurus energy um maybe for some of you you want to start out by giving just a little bit and kind of seeing where it goes all right but definitely you are not about to have none of this though you're not about to have none of this none of this bull crap in uh, giving me a little bit, um, just shortchanging me, not seeing my value, uh, going back and forth with me. If I'm going to be in this relationship with you, then it is going to be an equal give and take. It's not going to be this bull, bull doo doo. That's what the Queen of Swords is here for. She's like, mm -mm. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. We are not having to do do. Thank you very much. Okay. My cat is not the kind of cat who likes to be held, so as soon as I go to grab the card, she's going to run. Yeah, she doesn't know what to do. She's like, oh, uh, ow, you don't need to use your nails. Oh, Lord. <laughs> what did I tell you? She was like, <coughs> oh, my God. All right. So <laughs> you saw that live. Okay, you saw that just happen. I'm not cutting that out. I don't try to cut anything out because... <laughs> You know, I'm just trying to keep it real with you guys. All right, spirit. What are the clear messages you have here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus on the Cross Watcher, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus on the Cross Watcher for Virgo. Spirit, why is the Knight of Cups here? What's this Knight of Cups about, please? The 
the sun Ooh, this person could also be a leo okay fire energy aries leo sagittarius this is about happiness um it's about joy it's about vibrancy health um overall uh universal completion energy the sun is you know what gives us life okay so maybe this person um you know they want to apologize they want to bring light happiness life back you know give you give you the ultimate joy okay the ultimate beginning um in the regular tarot which uh, the regular tarot for me is the rider way i always call this like my baby new year card because it's always like a baby rolling in on a horse you know and it's like sunflowers so um you know the energy is very happy it's very br bright and vibrant um this could be for somebody um you know you could be looking at maybe you guys separated in the summertime last year and now we're coming back around uh, here now in April this person might be riding back in um, with an apology with a message for you I think they know they might have messed up if this is a person who owes you an apology if it's somebody who um, likes you and wants to date you and take you out and be romantic with you then this person very well could be a sun sign you're their happiness whoever this is you make this person very happy and they want they want to express that to you is what i feel why is the two of pentacles here she's going nuts she does this all the time she just runs come here what are you doing what are you doing yes back and forth about a message you receive so this person could be reaching out to you uh page of wands is very much messenger aries leo sagittarius energy again guys um sending you a message and you're making a decision about what what this message or this apology could be so you could be going back and forth talking to this person okay why is the two of swords here aquarius libra gemini energy Queen of Pentacles, mm, thinking about whether or not you actually want to be in a relationship. And now feel free to reverse the roles. Maybe you the person coming with the apology because you done did some dirt, okay? And this person is thinking about whether or not they want to be back with you, Virgo. You see, what I don't do is just do this all about you or all about them. This is anybody who's involved. So you know what this situation is for you. But this is deciding, head over heart decision. Do I want to be in a relationship? Okay. Do I want to be stable? Do I want to be, you know, tied down with this person? Okay. Why is the wheel of fortune here? What's the fortune change? What's the cycle? It is a 10. It's the beginning and the ending of something. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here, please? Yeah, okay. So what this feels like is this is a change in self-sabotage for somebody, either you or the person you're with, or the end of some sort of backstabbing ass, heartbreaking, you know, um, feeling defeated, um, feeling like I never win um, it's also a 10 so we have two tens here we have an ending and a new beginning we have a new change here we have an ending of this energy this really bad sabotaging um, backstabbing creeping you know doing doing me dirty energy okay why is the six of pentacles here please and that's also Aquarius Libra Gemini Why is the Six of Pentacles here, please? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Six of Pentacles is here because of the Queen of Cups. She knows what she wants emotionally. She knows what she brings to the table. So again, like we said with this Queen of Swords, we're cutting that out. We're, this is emotional stability, okay? 
This is somebody willing to receive and willing to give. Not play these games and go back and forth and give in part. This is what you want. Um, and I hope it seems like that's what this person wants to give to you. Okay. New person or person returning from the past. Because I'm telling you, I feel the unfinished symphony. You know, this person really wants to make it work somehow. Um, and they want to give fully. I think they want to give fully. But this is also intuitive energy, too, with the Queen of Cups, you know. Um, n knowing your value and your worth, okay, and standing your ground on that, if that makes sense. You must know your worth and stand your ground on that. Otherwise, people will treat you exactly as you allow them to treat you. If you don't tell them, look, mm -mm. no, you cannot do that. Okay. Why is the Queen of Swords here? I kind of already know why she's here. She wants to cut that bull crap out. But why is the Queen of Swords here? Three of Pentacles. No third parties, bitch. Okay. No third parties. We are not having three people in this relationship. Okay. We're not doing it. Okay. We're not doing it. So for somebody choosing to accept this apology... Or accept this connection or reconnection because I feel like we got a couple of things here. We have a person who is like, no, if you're going to be with me, if you got somebody else, you better cut it off now. Okay. We're not doing that. We're not doing no three people and all the, all this other shit. Okay. For somebody here. Yes. Truth be told, feelings come out. There's an exchange. You say how you feel. But for somebody here, you're not going back. You're not. There's no connection here that's going to happen. Hey, 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 hey. Uh-uh. Hey. Sorry, my cat's trying to jump out the window. Hey. No. Um, you're not making this reconnection. You're, you're not. You're cutting it off. There, There's... Somebody not accepting this, not going back. Yeah, it looks good. It smells good. All of that stuff. But I remember what you did. I remember what you did. And I'm not going to enter into this partnership. I'm not doing it again. Okay. Um, and that's just emotionally looking out for yourself, healing yourself, taking care of yourself overall. Okay. But for somebody, you're going to lay down the law and be like, mm -mm, this is what I want. And, and this is what I have to get. And I think this person is going to bring it. Are they going to bring it? What's this person going to offer? What's this person going to offer? <clears throat> Two of Pentacles. They're going to make a decision. I think it's going to prompt them to make a decision. What, are this, what is this person going to offer? What's this person going to offer? King of Swords. I feel like they're going to cut the bullshit out. I don't think this is the liar card right now. I don't feel like that's the liar. What are they going to bring? What are they going to bring for Virgo, please? What are they going to bring? What are they going to bring for Virgo? Passion, fire, knight of wands, knight of wands. I think they're going to be honest. I think they're going to be truth. I think they're going to be passionate. What else? What else are they bringing to Virgo? Page of swords. They might block out other people. This can be a gossip card too. I kind of call them the little mini troublemaker sometimes. What else? What else are they bringing to Virgo? Do they want commitment? Six of Swords, moving on to calmer waters. I don't feel like this person wants to bring a bunch of drama back into your life. Do I think it might be challenging for them to, um, you know, decide on a commitment? I think they're going to decide on a commitment. I think they're going to be honest. They're going to be passionate about you. Um, you know, they may cut off other people. They may stop talking to somebody they've been talking to. 
communicating with some somebody, I think they're going to communicate with you very honestly and try to move this relationship forward um, into calmer waters. Okay. I'm feeling really strongly that this is an Aquarius Libra Gemini for somebody and that for somebody else, this is um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Okay. All right, spirit. I'm going to use these wisdom oracle chakra cards and see if we have any additional messages. Sorry, my cat's flipping out because I have the door open and um, I feed the birds and they come up on the thing and I don't normally have the door open and she's an inside cat, so I kind of don't want her to jump out the window and go nuts. All right, Spirit, any other additional messages here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher? Insecurity. Somebody here, either you or maybe the other person, may be experiencing insecurity. Okay, so first chakra could be off a little bit there. Make, maybe they make you feel insecure. Any other messages here regarding this spread self-worth? Grief from loss, self-worth, insecurity. Okay. So we have self-worth and insecurity, first and second chakra could be off. And then we have the heart chakra, grief and loss, and the blue chakra, which is the throat for the quest. Okay, so here's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like somebody here, okay, somebody here feels like this person is chaos and conflict. They come into my life. They're trying to tell me all this stuff. Okay. They're trying to prove to me that maybe they're a different person or things aren't going to happen the way they did and change. Okay. Somebody here is not buying that bullshit. Queen of swords. Nah, this, you know, no third party stuff, no other partnerships deciding, you know, deciding about how they feel about this person. You might think that they are a liar they're a cheater um you know they're dishonest they're petty they bicker and you're just moving on somebody is straight up moving on okay straight up somebody is moving on the other person um or persons here uh is seeing that there's a possibility to be with this person again because there have been some changes they're not uh the same person that they were um, and deciding, okay, deciding this person could be deciding as well. When I ask, what does the person, what is the person bringing? What do they want? It seems like they're, they're changing and they're deciding they want to be honest. They want to bring fun and passion and dating. You know, they, they don't want to be petty anymore. They want to um, put away any, you know, any other people that they might have and move this into something that's calm and something that's beautiful. They want to bring their cup of love to you. Okay. They do want to reconcile and they do want to be with you. I think that's probably the vibe for the other person too. However, some of you just aren't doing it. Yes, you love this person, but they they make you feel insecure. They bring conflict. Um, you know, they've given you a lot of heartache, okay, with this grief, right? Some of them have um, maybe even put you on a personal journey, okay? Somebody may be silently retreating here to do meditation. Like this person might have really, really, really hurt you. Um, and you just don't want anything to do with it because you have it in your mind that this person has not changed, okay? You have it in your mind that this person has not changed. All right. So... Um, I'm going to pull a romance angel and then we're going to be done, guys. And I'm only, I'm just curious. I'm just curious what the nature of this relationship is between uh, Virgo and their person. What's the energy between Virgo and their person, please? The energy of Virgo and their person, please. Getting to know each other. Mm, anything else, spirit? Anything else? Anything else here? Do we have two messages? Anything else here for Virgo regarding this spread?
No, I'm hearing no. Okay, so we have a, a couple of scenarios here. Like I talked about in the beginning, this could be somebody that you just met, right? Or someone you met like prior and nothing was really going on, but it could be somebody that you just meet, you know, messaging, talking back and forth with this person, deciding maybe if you want to talk to them, you know, um, and, and I see what I see here is um, somebody standing their ground, okay? If this is a new person, this is you standing your ground because you've been very hurt in the past and people have not seen your value. They haven't appreciated you, okay? Um, you've had to do a lot of healing from the past. You're very quick to cut people off. Um, and because you have, were possibly just cheated on in the past. So dating for you or moving forward with a, somebody is something that you need to decide with this two of pentacles. Okay. And that could be also, you know, not trying to let somebody know what you're doing. It could also be juggling. All right. It could be juggling for somebody. Somebody may be trying to juggle, um, you know, some kind of third party here. All right. Um, and that could be the person you're talking to. Um, or maybe it's not. It could be going back and forth and making a decision about this person because you do not want to be in a third party situation. This person is being honest. They have a lot of feelings for you. They're very passionate about you. Um, you know, and they just they don't want any drama. They just want smooth sailing. They don't want any drama, just like you. OK, and you don't want any drama. So there's the opportunity for a new relationship but this is somebody coming back kind of the same thing i think that somebody's really concerned that this person is still trying to juggle being with this gal that person that dude you know guy over here because you like people to pay attention to you you know what i'm saying you you're not honest or whatever the situation is or they're not honest and you're just like, mm -mm, I just don't want anything to do with this. Um, I don't want to communicate. I just want to move on. Okay. For others of you, if this is reconciling with somebody, you're still having the same concerns that we just talked about. Um, and you might move, you are going to be moving forward with this person. Somebody's going to be moving forward with this person. Now, why I like this card is because in all three of the situations, this is the perfect card here from the Romance Angels. Getting to know each other, <laughs> whether somebody's coming back or whether you're just meeting them. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. It's all about getting to know people for who they really are before we make major decisions about being in relationships with people and things like that. But also we create a bond, um, we create trust, we create love, we create friendship. And those are the most important things that you need to have in order to have a relationship that works really well. So, um, you know, this is an opportunity for you guys, Virgo, to decide what it is you want, you know, and build from there. But you know, taking the time to get to know each other, even if this person's coming back in your life. Okay. So looking forward to this in April, um, it might come up again in the next reading, who knows? And I do pray it's going to be going well. Um, all right, Virgo. So that's the reading that I have for you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and sharing a little bit of your day with me. I truly appreciate that. Um, I'm going to be here the rest of the day until I see you guys again next month. Okay. Oh, not next month. Sorry. In a couple weeks. All right, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you really like it, then please go ahead and subscribe. And thank you for dealing with my madness. All right. Make sure you wash your hands. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.